Hello, so this is a demo for the um, uh, the kind of ideology around the um, admit an infectious case um, scenario for OSCEs. So I'm just going to demo um, a rough way of doing that based on a scenario that we've generated. Um, so to begin with, as this is an admit infectious cat task um, or dog, I would put on an apron and I would also put on gloves. Um, this could be done before you put on access, before you touch the patient if you wanted to, um, but I'm just going to do it straight away um, just to be efficient really and make sure I don't forget. Um, and I'll pop some gloves on. And then I would advise students that within their six minute timer to just have a little look through any forms that they're presented with, depending on their rewarding organisation, familiarise themselves with what their scenario says they're being admitted with on that particular occasion. Um, just feel comfortable with all the details, have a little look through it so you're not trying to read off of any forms when you actually speak to the client and then it will go more fluently for you. Um, so I'm just going to take 10 seconds to represent that today, but I won't take any longer. I'll just have a little look through and familiarise myself. And then I'll go ahead and call in my client. So, <clears throat> Mr. Samuels. Hello. Hello, have you got Puss in Boots there? I do, yes. Hiya, come on in. Thank you. So, um, my name's Jackie, I'm one of the nurses today. Hello. Um, and I'm just here basically to go through the form. So, I understand from the scenario um, that we've been given yeah. that um, Puss in Boots has been a little bit unwell lately. Yeah, not the vet's been very well. already had a bit of a chat to you, um, but the vet's made a plan and he would like Puss in Boots to be admitted today for intravenous fluids, blood sampling, and urine diagnostics. Are you aware of that as well? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Um, now, I know, I know I look a little bit funny in this attire, but it's only because the vet's concerned that he might be carrying something a little bit infectious, so okay. we're just being I extra understand. cautious. Yeah. Is that okay? All right, perfect. So I'm going to start by just going through the consent form with you, a couple of different bits about the procedure. Stop me at any point if you have any questions. Okay. All right. So it's Mr. Samuels of Nine yeah. Ad Hoc Lane. Yep. Yeah. Um, and this is Puss in Boots. Yeah. Um, he's a male, and we've got him at around four kilos. Yes, he was the last time he came in. We'll update that when we take him through anyway. So the plan for today is him to be admitted for intravenous fluids. Now, that is a little clip patch on his leg. Okay. Sometimes it might take both legs. It just depends on how good his veins are. Obviously, he's been a little bit unwell. Yeah. So we clip a little patch, plop a little cannula into the leg, and then we'll administer fluids throughout the day. He has planned to be here for the day on the fluids. Mm -hmm. We'll keep an eye on him. There are some risks with that. There's a risk of, obviously, a bit of trauma to the vein. And um, there's also a risk of the fluid going in too quickly and going in places that it shouldn't do. So obviously we as the team will keep an eye on it. Yeah. We hope to massively reduce that. Um, but we just let you be aware of the risks. And what we will do is we will always ring you if there's any problems anyway okay. and keep you up to That's date. Fine. Yeah. We're also going to do blood sampling. So you'd think we could take that out the same little leg. Mm. But sadly, the amount of blood we need, we sometimes can't. So what we're actually going to do is have to clip a little patch on his neck. There is a risk again of clipper rash yep. and there's also a risk of a little bit of a bruise where we take the blood sample okay. we're looking to run the tests in house though so by getting a little bit more blood from that neck we're able to get the results to you hopefully today yep. and the vet will give you an update with them later on this afternoon okay. all right yes and then the last part is the vet would like him to have some urine tests now ideally we're going to try and catch that urine what we call free catch okay. which means we will pop him in his um kennel with a little litter tray do you know what litter he generally prefers a uh, wood pellet Okay, perfect. So we can't mimic that directly, um, but we'll use like little crystals and okay. hopefully we'll try to get a wee sample if he'll wee. Being yeah. on fluids might help. Yeah. Um, and if we can, we'll then run the test in-house and again, when you ring you with the results of that. If we can't, however, we'll look to do what they call a conscious cystocentesis, which is where we put a little needle, clip a little patch on the side of his abdomen, yeah. put a little needle in and it goes directly into his bladder. Oh, wow. Use a syringe to get it out. Um, and then that's it really then, then we've got the sample. Okay. With that little needle going in, there is a very small chance of trauma to the bladder, because obviously there's a little needle going yeah. into it, and there's also a very small chance of infection. We will do our best to not need to do a cystocentesis, yeah. um, but if we do, that is what it is, and those are the risks. Okay. Um, there is also a very small possibility he'll need some uh, sedation yeah. for that. Uh, again, we're not planning on it, so we'll ring you with further updates if that's needed, because there are different risks associated with the sedation, much like I've explained already, okay. um, but we're not planning on doing that today. Yeah. He's not due any medications, but this form does just go through kind of potential risks with meds, the fact you don't really know how they're going to react, but we're not planning on giving him anything. It's okay. mainly just that you're signing to say you're aware that if we do give them, there is a risk. We will ring you before we give anything anyway, because that's not currently in his plan. Okay. All right? Yeah, okay. So it's £400 for today. <clears throat> any recent medications at all that he's been on? No, nothing at all. Perfect. Can I have an emergency number, please? Uh, yeah, it's 07 Zero seven one one one. Perfect, thank you. Um, and is he vaccinated? Uh, yes. 
Flea and worm status? Um, oh, I haven't put anything on. No flea and worm status. And when was he, did, when did he last eat? I know it said he's been off his food for a yes, little bit, but when yeah. did he last eat? He had like a tiny amount last night, but a very tiny small. Yeah. And what does he normally eat? Uh, wet food. Wet food, perfect. And any other information that you think will be handy for us today? Uh, no, he does get a little bit stressed out, but that's all. Okay, perfect. So um, what I'll do is I'll just ask you to have a little read through this and put yeah. a sign on the bottom, sign okay. on the top line at the bottom for me that you're happy with everything. Yeah. Is he otherwise friendly in his cat basket yeah, here? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Lovely. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Thank you. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop the details on the form for you. So we're just going to make sure that we know who Puss in Boots is. Pop a number on there in case anybody needs to ring us today of our practice. We're not planning on him escaping, but no. better be safe than sorry. <laughs> So we're just going to transfer boxes just because the potential risk that he might be a little bit infectious. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, come on then, Puss in Boots. Oh, it's quite scary sometimes, oh, isn't it, when you have to yeah. move up to him in slowly. There we go. Okay. Do I take this home? Yes, I'll pass that back to you yeah. and I'll let you just take that one on home. Now, if I could just see you out to reception, the yeah. team will give you a call in a couple of hours to go through when to collect him and you can settle up later. Perfect, All that's right. lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll now remove my PPE and I would report to my vet, um, whoever comes as your acting vet in your case scenario, that we've admitted Puss in Boots here. Um, in this case scenario, he was vaccinated, but we're concerned that he is infectious um, and that just that basically he's not been eating for two to three days.